EA Games Vice President of Branding, Ellie McCarthy. All right. Now she said that the term gamer. It um the, now here's what I want to say. The term gamer is a profession. It's not obsolete. But what she said was that the term gamer is obsolete. It pretty much doesn't mean anything. So we're going to discuss this because I want to explain to y'all why I respectfully disagree with what she's saying. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to prove my point. You know how I get down. So before we get started with everything, I just want to make sure you drop your city in the chat so I can shout you out and show you love. Let's get it popping. Thank y'all as always for being here. Let's get it. So, first of all, shout out the princess in the building, Jermaine in the building, Walter in the building, Frank E. I see you, dog. What's going on? You know what I'm saying? Order, I see you, Corey, in the building. All right, now let's go. Here's the first thing that I want to uh, bring up, right? This is the first thing I want to bring up. I'm going to show it to y'all right now. L and let me know if everything looks good and it sounds good, okay? So, as you can see, here is a Twitter discussion that I had with a friend of mine by the name of David Wells. This is my boy. All right, this is my boy. Now, before we get into this, let me show you how everything started. So, this is how everything started, right? I'm going to show you right now. We're going to go up. I'm going to show you right now. We're going to get it right here, right here. So, this is how everything started. So, an EA exec has suggested that the term gamer is outdated, claiming that only a small percentage of people use it to describe themselves, right? Now, remember, this is Ellie McCarthy, the VP of branding for Electronic Arts. So, now, what she said, and I'm going to go to the quote. The quote was, um, I get... I often get asked about how brands can partner with gaming or talk to gamers, but there's really no such thing as gamers at all. And understanding that will be crucial. That's what she said. I'll say it again. She said, I often get asked about how brands can partner with gaming or talk to gamers, but there's really no such thing as gamers at all. And understanding that will be crucial. That alone right there makes no sense. And the reason why it makes no sense is because you always got to have an identity. You always got to have some sort of label to understand how you approach whatever it is or who is that you're approaching. That's the first thing. But let's let's break it down even more. Right. This is the major quote that she said. She said, gaming is no longer a medium or an industry. It is simply interactive. I'll say it again. She said, gaming is no longer a medium or an industry. It is simply interactive. You can now interact with almost everything through play. From an interest area like interior design to a movement like Black Lives Matter or exploring your sexual identity. That's what she suggested. Then moving on, um, what I would like, what I want to tell y'all is, it says it's worth remembering that McCarthy's comments are from the point of view of a marketing executive, as she adds. And then they says, uh, it says there are no best practice rules for how to engage with this niche, multifaceted and passionate community. Trying to target gamers is like saying you're targeting people who like music or people who breathe in the air. So let's break this stuff down. Now, I had to set the tone so y'all can understand where I'm coming from. And I'm going to show you how wrong this is. Now, before I go into the Twitter conversation that I have with my man, David, that's going to really like close the book on all of this stuff. One thing that I want to share with you, and this is very dangerous. This is a person that's in a vice president position of branding for gaming, for the gaming industry that she works in, yet she says that the term gamer is obsolete and it doesn't exist and is clueless to have. Think about how 
contra think about the contradiction in her job position and what she's saying that right there is dangerous like that's not cool it's not smart it's not a a way a proper way to approach the business side let alone the community that you're trying to serve you understand what i'm saying that's the first thing the second thing is the term gamer is a profession i give you an example of what i mean if i take this phone right here and i take a picture with it it doesn't make me a photographer just because i can take a picture anybody could have games as a hobby and you play games whatever but there's a difference between somebody that just loves to play some games here and there and somebody that's a gamer there's a profession you understand what i'm saying there's a difference being a gamer is a profession if you are a game developer that is a profession you have artists you have animators you have writers you have musicians you have singers like there's so much that make up a game and there's so many different professions that lead to the development of a game as a whole so if your logic and your thinking is eliminating the very term that we consider a profession in the gaming industry first off how did you get that role that you got that's one and two you are disconnecting yourselves with understanding what makes us gamers in the first place. This is this is our lifestyle. This is a culture that we live every day, 24-7. You understand what I'm saying? So this isn't something that you can just say, oh, well, you know, you're a gamer. You just game and that's it. You still got to have an identity to know what's what. And to prove my point, let's go over to the Twitter uh, discussion. And stuff so now here's what i want to say this is the, the this is the tweet that i put out first so you can follow the chain correctly now i said that i think ea vp of the brand ellie mccarthy mccarthur saying that the term gamer is becoming obsolete is inaccurate every entertainment biz model is gearing towards a gamer centric audience relationship for growth and staying power because gaming is by far the number one form of entertainment this is a true statement gaming is the number one form of entertainment and a lot of these companies that never once cared or even look uh look sideways at the gaming industry all they're doing right now is trying to figure out how they can get in the game industry so their business can grow and they can remain profitable and this pandemic that we just experienced proved that even more because so many businesses, so many artists, so, so many people, period, was having problems and troubles trying to sustain their business. And then they latched on to gaming so they could survive in their business. You understand what I'm saying? So how can you say something doesn't have an identity when that very identity is saving other people's jobs? Remember, gaming survived recessions. You understand what I'm saying? Gaming survived everything. No matter what you throw at it, gaming always find a way to grow. Period. So let's move on. So my man David, he said, your second paragraph is why the term gamer is becoming obsolete. There is no need for the term gamer if it describes almost everyone. It's just people at that point. Oh, really? Oh, really? So let's break that down so I can destroy that real quick. If I'm throwing a party and I'm looking for caterers, don't I have to take that term catering to find a caterer to do my party i need the terminology so i can know what i'm going to get you understand what i'm saying if i'm looking for a dj at a party i'm not gonna just look for random people i am going to look for what a dj so i need the term dj to know what i'm looking for you understand what i'm saying so it goes the same for the term gamer now 
follow me as I break down more of this tweet. Now, the next thing that I said was, David, my dude, miss you, bro. The term gamer does not describe everyone. It describes a marketing placement opportunity for businesses that are not in tune with the culture. Example, when Xbox uh, sent, um, or Xbox or Warner Brothers, whoever sent it, but I believe it was Xbox, because the Xbox was in it. But anyway, Xbox sending DJ Khaled a Series S system, and he didn't know what it was. He thought the Series S system was a speaker. Now, does it look like a speaker? Yes, but if you was a gamer, you would know that that was a Series S, even though it looks like a speaker. But if you're not a gamer at all, you're gonna look at that and not even know it's an Xbox, not even know it's something that you use to play games on. That's a disconnect. Why? Because you were sending something to someone that had no idea of what you're sending them because they're not gamer. They're, he's not a gamer. It's the same reason why DJ, DJ Khaled got booed on stage, off stage, when he tried to perform at the Overwatch event because people was like, he don't play Overwatch. He don't even know what this is. Why is he here? We love his music. We got love for Khaled. At the same time, that was a very tone deaf move. It didn't make any sense. So now let's move on forward. Let's move forward. So then, so then, um, when uh, David, he said, I get it, man. I know. But you have to think of it from a much larger perspective. The younger generation, meaning Generation Z and up, is increasing the gaming adoption rates at lightning speed. Their kids will do the same. Gaming has reached the same status as music and movies, which is unbelievable. First of all, gaming has been bigger than music and movies combined for a long time. This is not new. But that statement that he said in terms of um, uh, the younger generation, that's just more value to the term gamer because you have to break it down so people can understand who you are identifying. So here's the killer right here. I killed them with this quote. I killed them and I killed everybody with this. Let's go. So I told him, I have been knew that bro in terms of the largest scale, but it doesn't change and will never change. The fact that the term gamer must always be present. Always be present. Here's why. If you can't identify what you're investing in, then you will never know the value of your outcomes. I'm going to say this quote again. If you can't identify what you're investing in, then you will never know the value of your outcomes. You understand what I'm saying? So the point I'm trying to meet, so the point I'm trying to make, then after that, he says, uh, it's rarely utilized in the marketing conversations I'm present for. It's moved into investing in content creators within the gaming community and or audience. It's the exact same outcome. It's just the terminology has evolved. I totally understand where you're coming from, though. Here's the problem with that statement. He said that it's moved into investing in content creators within the gaming community. So the fact that you had to put within the gaming community means that you still have to identify the community of the content creators that you are targeting. So it still comes back to the term gamer so you can understand what you're investing in. Are you kidding me? And keep in mind, a lot of people that don't know how I get down, they may look at me as just an influencer. No. I'm telling y'all, I'm involved with everything. There's a lot of things that y'all are witnessing, experiencing, and all of that that I'm a part of, and you just you don't even know that I'm a silent partner in it. You understand what I'm saying? I'm involved in everything from the face, from the being the face, hosting content creation, to the middle of negotiating, connecting dots, and making deals happen, to the back end providing influence, authenticity, and clarity for businesses to make the right decisions so they can have better outcomes. I'm involved in everything, bro. 
everything. I'm a hip-hop gamer for a reason. I do it all. Hip-hop, gaming, business consulting, philanthropy. I'm involved in everything. Investments, all of that. I do it all. So I'm in those rooms too. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying? I've had boardroom meetings. I, I get it. You understand what I'm saying? So I just wanted to break that down that um when it comes to when it comes to um uh Miss Ellie uh, uh MacArthur, I dis um I respectfully disagree. I respectfully disagree with what she's saying. And one of the things that she mentioned was that um 14% of people don't even refer to themselves as gamers and 6% of women don't refer to themselves as gamers. So you have to understand if you a real gamer, you will know where that comes from. Now, I don't know where she got her data from. That wasn't explained. So I'm not sure if that's accurate or not because because there's no source of that percentage data. But what I can say is this. From my standpoint, just being in the hood, Growing up and stuff like that, it wasn't the cool thing to be a gamer, to be a nerd and stuff like that. You wasn't cool if you was doing all of that stuff, right? You know what I'm saying? That was like, that was how the energy was towards um gaming. Unless you're playing NBA Live and Madden and some Street Fighter or something like that. But other than that, if you got caught, you know, playing games like Final Fantasy or Bonk's Adventure on Graphics 16 or whatever it is. It's like you, 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 you in the house, you don't get no girls. You ain't cool. You ain't got no style. Like, you know, say so you just fat and sloppy in the, in, in, the, in the crib on the couch. Like that was the mentality. Right. And then when it came down to parents and stuff like that, I'm not, you know, not my, you know, uh, parent, you know, my grandma's taught me how to game. But I'm just saying in general, uh, it's one of those situations where stop playing the game and go get a job. Stop playing a game. You're a bum. You don't do nothing with your life. You know what I'm saying? So the term gamer, especially back then, always had a negative connotation to it because gaming never equated to some sort of success, especially growing up. Now, obviously, that's a different situation. So everybody want to act like they've been down with gaming for so long when they really despised it for so long. So that's what that comes from. You know what I'm saying? So... You, yeah, I know how it is. When certain people and there's money involved say something is good, all of a sudden it's good now because there's money there. So people don't really like certain things. They just follow money. You know what I mean? It's a very shallow way of thinking, but they do that. Hip-hop gamer. Logitech.